Hello, fabulous friends, fans, and superstars. Welcome to your horoscope for the week of September 13, 2020. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What a remarkable week it is. It is a powerful time. If you think about what has been happening over the course of the last few weeks, a lot of it comes down to positive energy in the sign of Virgo. Now, this is going to speak to different people in a different area of life, but all of us are finding blessings and transformation. And a week like this is going to accelerate and bring a lot of these energies to a peak. And that really is thanks to the new moon. The new moon in Virgo takes place right around Thursday. And this is one of the more positive new moons that I've seen play out over the course of this year. This beautiful new moon will be speaking in supreme harmony with Pluto and Saturn, Saturn in particular with precision. But the good vibes start even earlier. On Monday, the sun will trine Pluto, and then under the light of the new moon, on Thursday, the sun will trine Saturn. Now, the energy of the sun and Pluto, this trine is one of my favorite celestial conversations because it invites us to change the way that we know ourselves in the best possible sense. Pluto brings intensity and focus and power, an understanding of what needs to change at the core so that that change can be that much more meaningful. With Pluto speaking to the sun, we're able to harness the will, direct ourselves towards whom it is that we hope to become. And in this way, each of us in our own lives is considering or contemplating a change, a power move, if you will, to advance ourselves and our circumstances for the better. The fact that the sun is trying Saturn does say that we have a long-term perspective. We understand how it is that our actions today are affirming or strengthening a larger picture for our life, perhaps even a larger success. That Virgo energy though of the sun of the new moon invites us to get practical, to be more detail oriented and to consider where it is that through our smallest actions, we may cultivate mastery or perhaps even make the strongest statements. While all of the signs do reflect and represent different parts of the spiritual experience of being a human being, it is the energy of Virgo that invites us to embody spirit, that invites us to take into consideration what the sacred is and also how it is that we can live it more fully. How can we demonstrate in our smallest acts service, however you want to understand that, to a higher power or even towards our own higher selves? It is in the small moments that we get to experience sacred energy. And it is in those smallest moments that we get to cultivate mastery and focus and patience and determination. The energy of this new moon, it can represent reward, new opportunity that comes about through our continuous cultivation, what we have cultivated thus far in our lives, now lending itself to blessings. The other really big news this week, I mean, if that new moon wasn't fortunate and amazing enough, is that at the very beginning of the week, Jupiter will go direct. This is powerful energy of blessings now unleashed. It has been since May that Jupiter has been going retrograde in the sign of Capricorn and the sign of success. And it is all of us who in at least one area of life have been wanting to experience gains. When a planet goes retrograde, it invites us to look within, to consider whom it is we are and how it is that we can align with the outcomes we desire. But a planet going direct, and especially as it is changing directions, is at the height of its power. And this is where it is able to bring with it outwardly events to inform and pull us forward. This Jupiter Direct will set the stage for an even bigger event that is set to take place at the end of the year. 
in December in about three months, if you can believe it. And that's when we're gonna get to about mid-December. And that is when Jupiter will change signs. So now it's full steam ahead for the next three months. And once Jupiter changes signs, we'll do so and connect with Saturn. That is a huge celestial event, the great conjunction set to take place. I've been talking about it. I will keep talking about it. That's what we have to look forward to. But just before we get there, this is about tying things up in some way, but also maximizing the blessings of this time right now. Do pay attention to what is happening in your life. We can also pay attention to what is happening with the collective and connect it to the sky. With Jupiter in Capricorn speaking to large companies, big power structures, it may feel like there are developments taking place on that front. At the same time, all this attention to the energy of Virgo and the blessings there can bring with it some good news where it comes to health related treatments um, and some sense of things changing for the better there as well. Now, if all of this wasn't enough, we have other energies playing out this week as well. It is a big astrological week. On Thursday, Mercury will speak with Jupiter in a conversation of tension. It is Mercury right now that is in the sign of Libra. And that has to do with considering different perspectives, our one-on-one -on -one interactions. And it's quite amazing how two people can see the exact same thing and interpret it very differently. Two people can have very different opinions about a singular matter. Well, it is gonna be this energy that says it's hard to find middle ground. It may feel hard to be understood by another. And if there are important conversations or even just acts of things like diplomacy or negotiations that need to happen, I would encourage you not to do that in the second part of the week, if at all possible. It is also possible here that over-promising may happen. It is over-optimism and even through word and how we're expressing ourselves appearing more confident than we actually are. Now there are times when that can work to our advantage, but this particular energy does suggest that we may end up saying too much and later regretting that we shared so much. It is gonna be early in the week though, in many ways an energy that a lot of people have been looking forward to. Uh, for interesting reasons is the interesting connection between Uranus and Venus. Now this is a conversation of tension that astrologers call a square. And if the energy on Monday of the Sun trying Pluto is one of my favorites, I have to be really honest, Uranus squaring Venus is one of my least favorites, even though I know it's all perfect and it's all part of the perfection of the universe. Still, this energy is and can be tough because it brings with it surprises and shocks that have us looking at our hearts differently, looking at our desires differently. Now, regardless of sign, especially if you are a Leo, because right now Venus is in the sign of Leo, but if you are of any sign out there, any sun sign, any rising sign, this energy is typically thought not to be a good time to be making investments in the aesthetics of life, in the beautifying of life, uh, whether that is in terms of activities you might participate in, things like massages or wanting to do things that are really fun, um, or whether it is a new hair color, new wardrobe, or something more permanent like cosmetic procedures or tattoos, this energy says this is not the time to do that. And I would put that across the board, I would say for every sign out there, the results you get are not likely to be the results that you expect. And so if at all possible, if you have an appointment or you have a whim and you're just sort of on an energy, which I have been in the past, you may know, but if you're in that space, it may be a good idea to reconsider, especially if you're going for something very dramatically different than you have before. But ultimately, if we look at it more personally, the energy of Uranus is truth. The conversation of tension can bring difficulty, but it may very well be a heart-oriented truth that we may need to understand more deeply or we may need to appreciate in some way that may come forward in surprising ways. Ultimately, with the truth, there are a couple of outcomes that do transpire. Either it shakes everything up and it shakes loose whatever is superfluous and not real, 
or it strengthens our stance or our bonds. It is in discovering the truth that we ensure that in matters of heart, in matters of love, in matters of rooting ourselves in our own authentic and unique beauty, that we're able to be in that space boldly and honestly ourselves. This energy invites us not to consider love and beauty as performance, but rather as a deeper, more honest expression. And where that honesty is there, it can be crystal clear in a moment. But on another level, once I move beyond this energy and looking at it simply philosophically, if you have romantic surprises planned, it might be a good idea not to have them in the first part of the week, only because any kind of romantic surprise really would not go as hoped or as planned or as anticipated uh, and can lend itself to uh, really shocking results in some cases, in some extreme cases, or maybe even just really mixed feelings. What I love about this week for us, well, look, what is good is really good. Jupiter is finally moving forward after being stagnate and being retrograde for the last few months. Now, as Jupiter starts to change directions, he is at the height of his power, helping us to understand more deeply what meaningful success is going to mean for us. Then you add all the other Earth energy, mainly thanks to the new moon, and the beautiful connections the sun is making as well. We are invited to own our day and our smallest moments to consider how it is that we cultivate a connection to self and a connection to the divine, how it is through the body that we may know the cosmos and the universe that much more deeply. And it is going to be under a sky like this that says practical, tangible, real, empirical gains can be made now. And it isn't just about what you believe, and belief is an amazing thing. Belief can carry us forward. Hope can carry us forward. But there's something to be said about the self-respect that comes when we manifest, when it is that we focus on outcomes and we demonstrate whom it is that we know ourselves to be in the best possible sense. Well, the energy this week is going to invite us to embody the best that we can be. It is going to invite us to consider the long-term consequences and in taking that appreciation, cultivate a genuine, unshakable self-respect. Well, thank you so much for watching. What do you love about this week? Let me know in the comments below. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, thumbs up. It does help the channel so much and I love interacting with you guys. And of course, if you want to know how all this wonderful stuff this week speaks to you in your sign, log on to NadiaShaw.com and sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more. All of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. There are big learning events coming up. There have been taking place and coming up as well with really big discounts. So first, let me talk about Synchronicity University. Classes are underway for the autumn session part one. The last two weeks today and last week, we spoke about the moon and delved into an understanding of the moon. Next week, a class that a lot of students are looking forward to is Lilith through the signs and houses. So I've been asked to talk about Lilith quite a bit, and I think that this is going to be a really insightful class that's coming up next week. And that will be followed by Tarot for Astrologers, the Major Arcana, part one and part two, where I'll delve into some of the history and philosophical understanding of tarot and delve into each of the major arcana cards one at a time all over the course of two separate classes so if you want to learn more about not just the autumn session part one but also part two you can click on the link in the description below the speaker series is underway as well my first ever speaker series earlier this week we had a brilliant class with my friend Michael Barwick where he spoke about fixed stars. I've been getting tons of wonderful feedback on that uh, and I'm so glad that so many of you did enjoy it. Coming up this week, we are going to have the 
force, one of the great forces in astrology today, uh, the wonderful and brilliant and insightful and just so loving Colin Bedell. Uh, Colin is making such a huge splash in astrology right now and in the world. Uh, he certainly is a force in astrology and he's going to be talking about relational astrology to help us to understand relationships that much more. I think it is going to be so insightful and so much fun. So if you would like to join the speaker series, you still can and links are in the description below. Uh, it is going to be later on that we will have in the following weeks, we're going to have um, Quan Cherry Tracy, who is brilliant and will be talking about Uranus and Taurus and what the rest of this transit is going to mean. And then we are going to have the great Mecca Woods and Mecca Woods also is doing big things in astrology, has a hugely impressive resume and she is going to be talking about the upcoming transit of Jupiter in Pisces. That's the other big transit coming up in 2021 as Jupiter moves back and forth between Aquarius and Pisces, and then back into Aquarius and then back into Pisces over 2021 and 2022. So she's going to be focusing on Jupiter and Pisces and what that means for us. It's going to be a lot of fun. So if you want to learn more about the different talks, you want to get a class pack so you can download the talks that have already happened or sign up for individual classes, links are in the description below. The other big and bold learning event that is going to be coming up in two weeks, we are going to have the all-star conference, the astrology student conference. Some of the biggest names in astrology today are a part of this and it is a huge event that is going to be taking place online. I feel so grateful, so blessed to have been asked to talk at this event and I will be talking about Saturn square Uranus, the ongoing conversation that we are going to have once we move into 2021 that I think is going to truly define that year ahead. And so this event, really, when I say big dogs, big names, this is the biggest names in astrology today who are part of this. And the amazing people at the All-Star Conference have provided a discount code for my friends and fans and superstars. And so the code is on the screen and it's in the description below. And if you use that code, you get 50% off. Normally you get a weekend access pack for 199 uh, pounds because it is rooted in England. This time, 99 pounds. Like that's amazing. That is a really amazing price and an amazing deal to be accessing speakers of this caliber. and. You know, when I say the big names, the most influential, the living legends, they are all a part of this particular weekend. So you can learn more about that by clicking on the link in the description below. Make sure you use that code so that you do get your ticket at half price. And once you get access, you also get the downloads as well. You get access to the downloads. I mean, if you can't attend all the classes live as they're going on, you'll still get to watch the replay. So it is just such a wonderful deal. It's so generous of the conference organizers to provide this and link is in the description below. Learn more about all the amazing things we are going to be talking about over the course of the weekend and you can sign up there. Thank you so much for keeping the universe is wise and loving in the top five uh, Amazon new releases in its category. I'm so grateful for that. And I do have books. I will link to my books in the description below. I have The Body and the Cosmos, which is an exploration of the physical body as it connects to the sky. Uh, and this is me taking the ideas of Plato and applying them to an astrological sky. Prayers to the Sky is a book that explores the origin myths and explores some astrological magic in there as well to help you to understand and cultivate a relationship with the different planets. And then of course, The Universe is Wise and Loving, my newest book. This is about the nodes of the moon, a very important predictive tool. And then there's my first book as well, Astrology Realized, and that is a beginner's guide to reading birth charts. So if any of that is fascinating, is interesting, excites you, delights you, you can click on the links in the description below and you can get your copy now and really get a copy wherever it is that books are sold. 
I also have a very special offering thanks to my partnership with Cosmogram. And with Cosmogram, I have unique and individualized natal chart readings that are ready for you. And so what would happen? You would go click on the link below, you enter your birth data, and within hours, Cosmogram will send you a copy of your unique birth chart and my interpretations of the different parts of your unique birth chart. So I'm going through the different planets and their aspects, and we are exploring that together in this PDF that you are emailed that you can keep and read and learn from forever. I got my very first PDF of this kind uh, at a new age bookstore that used to be there in Toronto. This was a lot of years ago. It was like 25 years ago or so. And I still have that report. I mean, it meant so much to me. And to now be able to author and provide you with these reports is so rewarding as well. So have a look. There are sample readings there so you know exactly what it is you're going to get. It is my interpretation of your unique birth chart and you could click on the link in the description below. And finally, a big thank you to my sponsor for this episode, Intention Beads. They make talismans and bracelets and pendants and they are perfectly astrologically timed according to your intention. There's so much detail that goes into this work and they really are so much fun uh, and they're thoughtful as well, whether for yourself or for others. So Intention Beads, thank you for being my sponsor and you can learn more about them by clicking on the link in the description below. And thank you. Thank you so much for being here. I know that there's a lot going on out there right now with Mars retrograde now, right? And when a planet is retrograde, it can be especially strong and its energies and how they're experienced can be unexpected as well. And so we've had these fires that have been going on um, throughout the US in particular. Some of that air is coming into Canada as well. And so I just wanted to send love and healing and just a whole lot of hope that with the energy playing out this week, that some of that very fiery energy finds a way to become grounded, to become more absorbed by the earth so that there is healing taking place over the land. And if you are in one of those affected areas or people that you love are, please know that I am thinking about you now and sending you love and positive energy as I hope that we all could do. And thank you. Thank you for your trust and for watching. It'll be a great week. Enjoy.